screens. <laughs> yes. Uh, my name is Ted Holiday. I'm the creative director at Studio Holiday, a branding and design studio here in Santa Cruz. And uh, we've been around in Santa Cruz since 2005. And um, the three pillars of my studio are, if you look here at the bottom, we are creative, we are res responsive, and we are knowledgeable. Today, we'd like to talk about creativity. This, I actually want to read this, so I'm going to yell it out. So, uh, we are creative. This is something that you'll see at the bottom of my email, on my website, my proposals. Sometimes we're linear thinkers, forging a direct path between point A and B. Other times we're broken field runners, taking the audience on the unique, or the scenic, uniquely memorable route. Either way, we deliver the destination, distilling even the most complex marketing messages lead to out elegant outcomes, or put another way, left brain, right brain, we maintain residence in both neighborhoods. And so my, my whole thinking behind design is that there is no one process um, to design. Um, I take so many different paths, and every project I take, you'll, you'll, you'll experience that. So this is some of the logos that I or my studio have created. Um, it's probably one-tenth of the logos that I've done in my career and you might recognize some of them. Um, the oldest one there is the one right in the middle, Rambus. I did that about 20 years ago or so, and it's still going strong today, big tech firm. These are all local logos to Santa Cruz, and you definitely have to recognize some in there. Today, I wanna to talk about these two. Santa Cruz works and Santa Cruz accelerates. So um, I get my inspiration um, from all sorts of places. So I get my inspiration from all sorts of places. So for example, um, if I'm working on a potato chip packaging uh, project, I might get inspiration from a cigar label, right? So I don't necessarily just look to the industry that I'm um, working on to explore. So for example, Santa Cruz Works logo, logo, I was very inspired by the, the Eames chair, and I love the legs on this thing, the structure, um, the way that they intertwine with each other. I saw something there, and so from that, I created the W in the Santa Cruz Works logo, which it is a W. Um, it's multicolored to represent the, the many facets of Santa Cruz Works, um, and I feel like there's some movement to it, Like right? I feel like it... It's almost like it's taking flight, um, and that's what I like about it. So then a couple years after that, I was asked to do the Santa Cruz Accelerates logo, and um, that one came really easy to me because the Santa Cruz Works logo has legs to it. It has what's needed already there. And so the, there's a W, the shape for the W. Now Santa Cruz Accelerates, I needed to create an A. And I felt like, and it's accelerating, right? So it's a rocket ship coming out. You'll never see the, the middle two um, phases of the logo. Like, that's never shown. But it is basically as if a rocket ship blasted off from the middle of the logo. I saw the shape of the flame at the top in the middle, and I said, that is the flame for this A. And it, it just took me literally minutes to create this logo. And so it, that happens sometimes. Then I like to explore, you know, a visual style, what this thing could look like. Um, none of this has actually ever been produced, I think, maybe business cards, and then posters and social media pieces and that sort of thing. And so I did mention earlier that I was inspired by, right? I was inspired by the Eames chair. There's something to what I saw in the legs. I'm inspired by architecture, I'm inspired by fashion, all sorts of things. And so I'm inspired by that, right? Um, is AI creative? AI takes things, right? And we've seen that where it takes things and it pulls visuals and spits something out. I went to a website and I typed in a, a logo creation website and typed in Santa Cruz Works logo. And so these are page after page after page of various random, just meaningless logos in my mind. 
Um, that to me right now is the state of where AI is in the design world. It looks okay, right? Like there's some, like er, nothing looks weird there, right? But like a pretzel heart, um, there's no meaning, there's no knowledge there, right? And so that's why I keep going back to and still believe that we are creative, right? We are responsive, we are knowledgeable. Thank you.